Is it true? Has the news truly been? Has our favourite sumo news platform returned to us finally? Can it be? Oh yes, it's true. It's damn true. Hello, sumo fans. I'm Scott Finley, and welcome back to another episode and the long-awaited return of the sumo news right here on World of Sumo. I thought I would kick us back off with the biggest news stories this week in sumo, guys. So, let's start with the obvious ones, shall we? Unless you smacked your head on the rock you live under and were concussed, then you will know that Kotonawaka has finally and officially ascended to the esteemed rank of Ozeki. Well deserved. A third generation sumo pedigree, being the grandson of Yokozuna Koto Sakura. And of course, his Da Sadogataki Oyakata, formerly known as Sekiwaki Kotonowaka himself. He is set to adopt the Koto Sakura name in May. This monumental achievement has elicited heartfelt gratitude for his dad in Shisho, Sadogataki Oyakata, who, by the way, wants to obviously honour his dad by having the Kotonowaka name associated with Ozeki before his goal of using his grandfather's. Kotonowaka expressed his enthusiasm, saying, I want to use the Shikona Kotonowaka as an Ozeki, at least for one basho. So, sumo fans are eagerly awaiting to see what his debut basho in March will be like as an Ozeki. You know what it's like, the curse of the Ozeki, it's either really good or really bad, you never know. We'll see, we'll see. But let me know what you guys think. What's his first basho going to be like? Is he going to be the ones that, one of the ones that hold it together? Because I tell you, Kirishima, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I've seen worse, but I've also seen a lot better. So let me know what you think in the comments about Kota Nawaka's first outing as Ozeki in March. His father, Sado Gitake Oyakata, stated, I peaked as Kota Nawaka at Sekiwaki, so as a father and as an Oyakata, I am very grateful for this. Next up, let's dive into the recent promotions to the Juryo division. This list includes former Sekiwaki Wakitake Kagi, who is on the road to recovery from surgery, Sushi Manada making a comeback after three basho, Kita Harima returning after three and a half years, and rising star Hako Oho demonstrating swift resilience post-surgery. He's a hard wee man, I tell you. The Juryo division promises a mix of seasoned and experienced unwavering determination, folks. Aye, you're right, that's what I wrote in my script, because that's what I felt in my heart. Here we go. It's looking like Juryo's going to be as good as the Makuchi. Sometimes it's better, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure some of you will agree and disagree with that. Who who out there follows Juryo? How many of you? Let me know that and all. Look at me just looking for excuses to get you to comment in my videos, eh? <laughs> Up next... Did you all hear about the Yokozuna Deliberation Council, a.k.a. the YDC, as I will now refer to it, said after the last Basho? The post-Basho YDC meeting unfolded, as always, the day after Senshiraku. Of course, this time around, the meeting didn't involve discussions around promotions, because, you know, things didn't pan out for my boy. I can't even say it without hitting the boat, I'll tell you that. He was really close, though, like two wins close. Two wins in a June show close, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Strong consideration it would have been anyway. This segue from the usual proceedings gives us all a wee insight into where they are on the up-and-comers for the rope, specifically Kirishima and Kotonowaka. Up first, Kirishima. They said neither Takanohana nor Hakaho succeeded in their first attempt. Takanohana, to, to be fair, I think he had about four or five attempts. I'm sure... Maybe Kaiho broke the record after him, but I'm almost positive, and you can fact check me on this because I haven't checked before I've, I've said this, but I'm almost positive I'm right that Takanohana holds the record for the most Yusho wins without making Yokozuna. I obviously he eventually did, but I'm sure Kaiho broke that. I will check the facts and it'll be up. The facts will be up on screen for you right now, folks. The chairman of the YDC did express hopes that if Kirishima wins a high-level Yusho in Haru, he will be presented for their deliberation. Maybe a strong Yusho in March could sway them, but apparently it was clarified uh, for the Shimpan department that um, they had already indicated an expectation for Kirishima to start from scratch in the next bar show. So, so who knows, do you know what I mean? 
As for Kotonawaka, eh, in their discussions, they expressed admiration for his development, which, I mean, they're no wrong. You have to admire it. He's been a constant forward trajectory. The council members extended their best wishes, expressing hopes to witness Kotonawaka secure a Yushu and embark on his own rope run in the near future. Like, oosh! Big loaf coming in. <laughs> the Yokozuna Deliberation Council, of course, showered praise on the current Yokozuna Terunofuji for his exceptional performance during the recent Basho. I mean... It was great. I, I've got to say there was a couple of bouts that were very shaky for me, and you guys will see this in my upcoming Road to Glory video for Terry Nafuji, where we'll not just focus on his Basho win, but I'm, I'll focus it a wee bit on what his future and how long that might look like. Obviously, I'm I'm not going to go too deep dive into it, but I, I want to make a few points because although he can pull some out, that took surgery and about five months of rest to do and there was still some shaky nails so I'm definitely on the fence uh, about his longevity I'll tell you that anyway they acknowledged his remarkable comeback and resilience the members expressed admiration for his ability to secure a championship despite grappling with significant health challenges and injury which again is a fair point against what I was saying there their comments highlighted the profound impact of Terunofuji's sumo applauding his absolute Yokozuna-level performance and recognising the tenacity he displayed. <laughs> they are hinting at the Tobizaru bout there, aren't they? <laughs> the tenacity. <laughs> as discussions swirl around Terry Nafuji's future in the sport, as I've already just spoke about, the positive sentiments from the YDC underscore the deep respect and appreciation he still commands within the sumo community. Well, there you have it. Um, there's another thing if you want to let me know in the comments what you're thinking about the what the future of Terry Nafuji looks like, with the chances of Kirishima and Kotonowaka maybe getting a rope this year. Do you know what I mean? Um, let me know in the comments and all, guys, if you want to get your opinion across. As most of you know, in a not-so-shocking announcement, former Ozeki touches his own shins, eh, I mean, Tochi Notion, <laughs> officially announced his retirement during May, 2023's Basho, citing ongoing concerns about his worsening left shoulder injury, among other things. After a string of jury losses, he held a heartfelt press conference, expressed gratitude for the opportunity to be part of the sumo world, and bid farewell. Despite his retirement from active competition, though, Tochi Notion did continue to contribute to his stable, helping coach, training sessions, and other stuff. However, Due to not acquiring Japanese citizenship, he did reveal his intention to part ways with the Sumo Association. In an interview in June 2023, Tochi Notion shared his plans to remain in Japan and focus on promoting products from his homeland, such as wine and honey, through his newly established company, Royal Georgia. Fast forward to February 4th, 2024, and the real Goku, Goku Gikan, witnessed the emotional culmination of Tochi Notion's illustrious career with his Dampat Shiki, or retirement ceremony. Approximately 300 attendees, including former Yokozuna's Asishoru, Hakuho, and many others, attended to take a snap. Also, folks like, and I'm sorry if I'm wrecking this man's name, Te Muraz Lezhava. The Georgian ambassador to Japan. I'm so sorry, Georgian people, if I've wrecked his name. I'll put his I'll put his name on the screen. <laughs> and of course, his brother in arms, fellow Georgian born Gagamaru, participated in the ceremonial cutting of Tochi Notion's top knot. The poignant event concluded with Kasagano Oyakata, the former Sekiwaki, Tochi Nowaka, delivering the final scissor stroke. Tochi Notion's retirement ceremony served as a fitting tribute to his amazing journey in sumo, marking the end of an era of the beloved champion, who was not only the pride of Georgia, but also the pride of Europe. Good luck, Ozeki. And with that, sumo fans, that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you, as always, for watching. And sumo fans, remember... For all the latest, do me a turn and do yourself a favour. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nugget! What a